Hi there, Natalie with you today with a new process video for Pink Fresh Studio. And today we're gonna work on a fun project, kind of a scrap lift of a project that I did in a live session. I just wanted to give it a more modern look. So we're gonna work with the this is the this is a die, it's not a die set, it's a die, sorry. It's the color block rainbow die, and we're also gonna work with the cloud builder uh, stencil. So let me just get everything in order and I'm gonna explain to you what it is. A few, I think a month or so ago, I created a layout for my live session that it looked like a sky, like a rainbow clouds with um, a rainbow coming out of the clouds. So I wanted to give it more of a modern look. So I'm gonna kind of scrap lift of get some ideas from it to create this layout. So I'm starting by using the color block rainbow dye to cut eight pieces out of white cardstock. And I'm trying to use my newer plates because to create my rainbows, kind of gonna be like a circle in this case. I'm gonna need the negative side of the, um, not the negative side, but like yeah, the negative side of the die. So you're gonna see, like I said, I'm cutting eight of them because I'm gonna glue two of them uh, together, like stack them, just to give them a little bit more of um, sturdiness. So you're gonna see that I'm just being very careful to peel them, especially because I wanna use the back of the cut. Uh, to create my rainbow, just the way that the um, die is created um, you will have to use the back of it to create like the semicircle so I'm like I said I try to use my newer plates because there I've been trying to find a way to do it and I haven't been able to find it to create the negative look of the die so now that I've cut all my eight pieces outside of the camera I'm literally gonna go ahead and glue them uh, one on top of each other so like I said I needed eight of them because I need four uh, images so I'm stacking two of them together to give them like I said more sturdiness and at the same time it's gonna help me create the dimension that you're gonna see on the project uh, it's gonna create like a soft shadow and it just reads nicely on a page so you're gonna see my idea right now I want those uh, color block rainbow dies die cuts in this case to create the circle circular shapes on the side think of it as an inverted rainbow and then i want my clouds to come from the top to the bottom of the page but i want to give them something really modern something really clean something really linear so instead of just having the clouds like you know going anywhere i am actually going to go ahead and define them by um I want to create a column full of rainbow um, clouds so I am running some uh, this is just mint tape um, or washi tape I just have it handy I wanted something that is gonna kind of mask this area and I'm masking my area at three and three quarters from the left and three and three quarters from the right so I want that center column to be just touching my rainbows on the side so you're gonna see that once I've masked um, if you're gonna do this just be careful that you use like a masking tape or a washi tape that is not gonna hurt your paper so that's the one thing the second thing I am using for my background the cardstock that I'm using it actually came from one paper pad um, you know what sometimes you can buy uh, like your craft store a uh, packs a uh, pad sorry of craft paper once I I actually pulled it out because it had like a weave design on the cardstock so this is not a smooth cardstock it has a little bit of a powder and it's gonna look really nice with the clouds so the way that I want to build my rainbow you're gonna see I already mask my page is I'm gonna start from the top to the bottom going from yellow all the way to green so that means that I'm gonna transition through all the colors so I'm starting and I have my list of colors because I remember to keep them aside just in case I'm gonna use the first two colors of each one of the families and this is um, Pink Fresh Studios crisp uh, premium dye inks so I started with a little bit of lemon whip and you're gonna see that I create I'm using just my stencil brush just picking up some of the ink going on a circular motion on top of the stencil that's gonna give you the shape of the cloud I'm gonna go a little bit heavy when I'm closer to to the stencil so that it defines that uh, curvature and then it's slowly kind of fading towards the top so once I create my first row I'm gonna flip my stencil and I'm gonna go with the second color which in this case is sunshine remember I'm saying I'm using the two colors of each of the families so the colors that I'm using is lemon whip 
that's the first light uh, bright yellow and then I use sunshine and then I'm go into the oranges I'm starting with peach fuzz again you know I see that I'm not cleaning my stencil in between instead I'm trying to pick some of the color that I used previously just to create a soft transition I'm making sure that I start my application the closest to the stencil so that that heaviest line or the heaviest ink deposit is closer to the line of the stencil and thus is going to create the cloud so the next color that I'm using is peach fuzz and then the next color in the family is apricot once I'm done that I'm going to move on to coral reef more and more into the corals with passion fruit once I pass the corals, I'm going to go into the pinks and I'm going to have ballet slipper and sparkling rose. Again, the first two colors of that family. Then I'm going to go into the, into the purple. So I'm going to go with soft lilac and lavender. Uh, and then I'm going to start transitioning into the blue. So I'm going to use slumber and blue jay. That's the blue that has a little bit of that tinge of pink in it, red. Then I'm going to go into sky blue and summer shower. Which summer shower sorry which is more of the true blue and then i'm going to move into the teals with ocean breeze and aqualicious and then i'm going to move into the greens using mint and meadow and then i'm going to finish my application of the um clouds or the stenciling with fresh pear and green knoll so those are the colors that i use from the inks like i said i'm using the first two colors of each of the families i happen to have the mini um, cube so it's easy for me to have the families but i just wanted to create that rainbow look on the background and like i said i was very careful when i mask my lines or I mask my center line that the rainbows do touch the edges of the the masked line so like you know so there is this um what do you call it this fusion of the rainbow and the sky so you're gonna see i'm just finishing i just speed up the process and i, I repeated the process throughout the entire uh, column or the most be the the length of the page from top starting to yellow and finishing in green so it took some time but it was fun so just speeding up the process and cutting some because this is probably what took me the longest this and back in the dies so once i have them all in place um I'm gonna go ahead and just peel off the um in this case like I said I am using mint tape and I went with mint tape because I wanted to make sure that I don't hurt my page and right now that you see the ink you're gonna see that weave pattern on my cardstock and I loved it um so once I have that like you know already I'm gonna set it aside to dry but right now I'm just setting the image and I know that I do not want to create uh, my rainbows I don't want to add a lot of color in a way that I don't want to go with the formation but the rainbow I think is going to be redundant instead I'm going to keep like cool colors on the left and warm colors on the right so that the center brings all you know the all the colorful lines but I want to have the left on just the blues and the greens and the right with the oranges and the pinks and all like you know so it kind of creates a division and it reads better uh, too much of a rainbow will be just overkill in this case just because the center um column is really uh bright so I've already pulled some papers I'm pulling papers from happy heart and also from life right now I'm playing again with leftover pieces that I have from previous projects and the way that I'm gonna back my die cut you're gonna see that I'm just gluing the die cut to the piece of paper this one right now that I'm using is from life right now and then I'm just gonna cut into I'm just gonna cut around it the shape make sure making sure that I cut into the paper so that when you see the die cut you don't see the edges of the paper coming out you just see that white line that the die created so once I have that I am not gonna fill each one of the spots of the die instead I'm gonna choose to do every other one so I make sure that on the left um, you're gonna see right now I completed my semicircle it's really not semi it's not really a, a true semicircle but it's gonna give you that idea of a rainbow so I make sure that I follow a pattern of teal green uh, I the paper that I use right now is comes from life right now I had a little bit of green and a little bit of blue so that's a great transition paper and then I went into this papers from life right now too and I think I used on the blue side a lot of the papers came from life right now and on the right side oh, I'm sorry but before we go to the right side and then what i'm gonna do to cover those uh, you know empty spaces i'm actually gonna back the entire die cut with vellum i want to 
keep it translucent but add a little bit of softness i don't want to um i don't want to see the cardstock through the holes of the die cut i want something that's gonna soften that effect and i find that i'm a i love i'm a lover of vellum so i have quite a bit of vellum on my stash but i love the softness that it adds to a page so that's what i'm going with it in this case so now that i have like i said i'm gonna repeat that for the two die cuts once i have them ready i'm gonna go ahead and start working on the rainbow for the right hand side of the page and for that i'm gonna use actually quite a bit of the papers are gonna be from actually happy heart just because it has those yellow pinks very corally tones i'm gonna show you what i'm using and I want more of a floral look. And again, I follow the same um, idea of having the papers every other line and then backing the entire image with vellum. So you're gonna see I have like going from like that fuchsia to pink to um, coral to yellows using like I said the, le the left hand side in this case is all happy heart and the right hand side most of it is uh, life right now so it's a nice combination of the past two collections once i have them in place i'm gonna go ahead and just glue the rainbows to the right and the left of the page making sure they're right on the center so i'm using the grid on my mat to help me with that what and i'm just using straight glue to the back of the pieces that i back with paper so you don't see the glue and that's what i said that i wanted to add that vellum it just adds a little bit of softness and having that empty space in between the um, arches just kind of like you know just softens the edge especially because i have quite a bit of color going on the center now um to have the pictures that i have right now these are my goddaughters well one of my goddaughters the older one um, my mom just came back from ecuador there was you know she was there for a month so she brought quite a few pictures you know of my goddaughters um they had a baptism so you know um i just have nice memories of them so i make sure to transform my pictures to black and white so that they pop from the page there's quite a bit of color going on the background so i wanted something that is just gonna pop so i place them right on the center i backed them with vellum just to bring the same softness onto the picture and then i was thinking i want a title that kind of follows you're gonna see that i place my pictures not side by side but i give them a little bit of an offset think of it as creating kind of a step look to my page soft diagonal look so then i'm gonna take advantage of the title ephemera from the happy heart collection to create my title and i wanted something that went through the transition of the colors so you're gonna see that i have the word cool has pink the beautiful has like all the colors that i'm using then the gorgeous is going more into the blues and teals the extraordinary is very tealish and the U has the tones on the um right hand side of the page so takes you through the entire rainbow and the diagonal line now to accent the soft diagonal that i created i'm gonna take advantage of the chipboard hearts um chipboard heart, sorry chipboard frames from the happy heart collection the yellow and the pink are from the happy heart collection say same with the blue that little light blue is actually from life right now and i'm also going to use a little gray one that came in that collection now the only thing that you don't see in the camera is that i added some flowers just to accent the colors i'm kind of color blocking my design so when with um flowers from the happy heart collection there's just i wanted something really small not a lot because i have a lot going on on the page so i just chose this little it looks like wildflowers in blue and set them on top of the frames on the bottom right corner of my layout and i went with just like a few flowers on the top left corner of my layout where i have the other set of frames i'm just adding the sentiments came from the happy heart cardstock stickers i like i said i'm color blocking my layout and then the butterfly just had those tones of yellow and green that comes from the happy heart uh puffy stickers and just to finish my layout i don't want to add more color i have plenty i'm going to use the new uh crystal clear um drops color drops from pink fresh studio i just thought it was picks up the iridescent look without adding color i already have plenty on the background and i'm just gonna place them like you know around each cluster and next to the butterfly and my lines of journal are actually gonna go later around the arches but i'm gonna add them later on maybe i won't even because it's 
probably most likely gonna go to my cousin's album and i love how this turned out like i said is that take on one of my layouts i want something a little bit more modern a little bit more different something a little bit more linear and i hope you'll enjoy it as always if you have any questions on how this came together do not hesitate to leave a comment i would love to uh, you know check them out and as always thank you so much for joining me don't forget to subscribe to the channel there's always tons of content being added and i hope to see you very soon thank you for joining me today take care